Hey guys, it's your favorite host, Mr. Bankpole Joe. This is Big Muddy Catfish. You know what we're going to do tonight? We're going to bankpole some high flooded rivers. Missouri is rising right now. It's going to rise another foot and a half tonight. It is currently at about 26.1 feet, something like that. I will put the stats up in the video. Uh, weather's kind of shaky, but we're going to try. We're going to try it again. I got a few spots that I got in mind that I tried on my last video. We're going to try again and see if those spots hit. So keep watching. All right, guys, we are here at the Hartsburg Access. I just set four poles. This particular pole right here has two baits, one top water and one that's set down a little bit deeper. This one has a bigger fish on that bait fish on there. And then if you remember, if you watched my video locations for setting ditty poles or bank poles, this is the place where I caught my last fish. So if you haven't watched that video, the link will be up in your upper left-hand corner right after this. But as you can see, I got another, I got a goldfish on that one. Sitting right in front of where this wood is piled up at. And maybe I can uh, catch a fish on the up current side. And then I went back down here to this little opening and I said another goldfish top water the river is supposed to come up to another foot and a half so it'll probably come up just a little bit over the pole but I'll still be able to get it and hopefully we catch some catfish feeding up under these trees and in these trees and stuff trying to get the bugs and stuff so okay guys like I said we have four poles out here we're going down the rest of this road to see if we can't find some other spots to go ahead and set these poles. We are racing the light. As you can see, it is going away. If you haven't already, guys, please like and subscribe. i like to hear what you guys got to say. Please give me some video ideas. I'm a bank pole fisherman. This whole um, channel is about bank poles and DIY fishing products and how to build them. So if you guys are interested in me making a lot more videos tell me what you want to see and what you want me to build or try to build and we'll get that done so don't forget to hit subscribe if you're looking at your phones the bottom right hand corner that little arrow it says subscribe with the red let's hit that okay guys we got our fifth post set this is the hole i set last time i set it down by the tree this time I put it up a little higher so it don't get flooded over. But I got a fish right underneath the top wire so it'll get a lot of splash in the night. And hopefully attract something over here. Hopefully these fish are running along the spank. And it hears that and it comes over here to feed and see what's over there. Maybe I'll get a good hit. So you guys wish me luck. We're going to keep on moving. Like I said, we're racing the daylight. Okay, guys, we got our six post set between basically two trees that's hanging really low in the water. Hopefully, and I put two goldfish on that, one on the bottom end and one up about five feet up on the line and made the line extra long and dropped it deep. So hopefully that draws some attention. Hopefully nobody comes out to check this. So let's keep rolling. Okay, guys, we got, we got two baits on. We're going to try a new concept. Those catfish bobbers you see me make, that's uh, replicas of the Muddy River catfish and bobber. We're going to throw these out on the bobber and put the bobber on the bank pole line and bank pole that way. Set the bobber and see if we can't get these fish to swim out a little further, give them a little bit more free range than just underneath the pole and see if we can't get a nice little hit on the bobber. So, wish me luck, guys. 
Okay, guys, got bank pole number seven out, headed down to the next stop. I know you guys can't see that, but there's a reflector from it. Okay, guys, I'm back at the one spot where I had to, where there was a sewage drain right here. And this is out of the way from the main current, which I, you know, there's a few logs in here and there's a few trees up underneath there. So I'm hoping maybe that some catfish come in here, especially to hide in that drain, especially out of that current, and that maybe one of them will come and hit this pole. And I'm thinking I might just sit another one just on the other side of that drain pipe too. Draw some attention over here. So you guys keep watching. <clears throat> All right, guys. We're back at the boat ramp. Instead of putting one off of the boat ramp over there like I normally do <laughs> the last time, I took two poles this time and put it in this big blowout hole. One's topwater with a big goldfish, and the other is baited with two goldfish. <laughs> One's just underneath the topwater, and the other piece of bait is just at the bottom. So sitting off the bottom. I know you guys can see that. That's the one with the big goldfish. It's not moving much right now, but he was moving. And then I got that one. See if we can steer him up a little bit. There you go. Y'all can see that. Now, hopefully, he gets some attention tonight. So, we are done. We have set 10 poles. I have two more bank poles, but <coughs> I don't really want to drive all the way down to the other end of this river road because I know most of it's going to be flooded over and I may not be able to get out the other side. So we're going to end this night with a 10 bank pole set. Mostly goldfish. A couple of them's got bluegill, but we're doing mostly goldfish tonight. We're going to see what we get. So I'll talk to you guys in a sec. I'm going to turn this video off. We're going to go home. Then we're going to turn it back on. We'll do some talking. Have a good night. All right, guys. Today is May 11th. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Going out to Hartsburg Access to check our polls. So wish me luck. All right, guys, we're here at the Hartsburg Access. I right, checked one pole, didn't have anything on it, just had the blue, I mean, the goldfish still on it. As you can see, the waters came up a little bit. But these are our first four poles I've come to, and I really don't see a lot of bounce, and the lines are straight down, so I can only assume that there's nothing on them. Now, should I get to them and something starts moving around, I will start recording, but it is raining today, so it's a little hard to get get that on the record. But I'm going to go pre-check these. If there's any fish on them, then I'll press record again, guys, so you guys can see it. Otherwise, we'll just move on to the next spot and hope. I did see fresh tracks this morning, so I hope people weren't out checking poles. This is the only one I've seen remotely look like it was moving a little bit, but it wasn't really bouncing. It was just the string moving. But like I said, we'll go ahead and check these guys. If there's any fish, we'll turn the record back on and we'll get, get this video going. So keep on watching, guys. And don't forget, if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me what, what you think about my videos or what kind of videos you'd like to see. I do bank pole videos and I do DIY videos on how to build fit different fishing products like bobbers and bait tanks, things like that. So.
keep watching. Okay, guys, we're back. So we're 0 for 4. No, those spots had any fish on them, but they all did have baits left, except for one hook. One hook was mix, missing a small goldfish, but it was all filled up. So guard trying to pick me off. So going to the next spot. Here's bank pole number five. As y'all can see, tried this spot again. No bounce to this pole either, so I got a feeling there's probably nothing on it, or it's probably twisted up in some branches. Yep, as I figured. Hooked up on a branch. And there ain't no goldfish on that, so no luck on that one. All right, guys, we're at another set of poles. There's two goldfish on here. Um, there's really no bend on the poles, so definitely don't look like anything's on it. So, so far, we're a bust on about seven to nine poles, something like that. I have to recount in a second, but yeah. So, I'm going to pull these and move down and go retrieve the last three. Okay, guys, we were about 0 for 8. I just got to this pole to get ready to check it, and it took off on me. So I believe we got a fish. This would be my second fish of the year, so let's see what we got, guys. This over here, if you looked at my old video that I'll put up um, for you to see in this at the end of this video, I'll put the link to it. Um, for locations for flatheads and uh, blues when the river's going up. Um, this was that big sewage drainage pipe. There's a, I told you there's some logs that floated all up in here. This was just out of a hole that's out of a current. And that drainage uh, pipe comes from this field back here. So I feel like all the bugs and stuff would come in here and flood in here and this would be a good place for catfish to feed. And I was right, so. Check that out, guys. We got us a flathead, baby. That's what we do out here with Big Buddy Catfish, and we get out here, and we get them flatheads and blues, guys. If you don't watch me, this is what we do. We building these bank poles, mastering how we bank pole, doing the best. Look at that corner set. A nice, nice tan color on him. So we're going to pull him out, guys. And uh, he looks like to be about an eater size, so maybe we'll take him home. That's my first flathead of the year, guys. Last, the last video uh, I had was a blue, and it ended up being 9.1 pounds. That actual blue, you can check me out on Instagram, see some of my pics. At Bank Pole or Big Muddy Catfish and one or the other, you'll find me. You'll see my logo. But there you go, guys. Mr. Flathead. We still got three more poles to check, and hopefully we ain't done today. So let me reach down there and get them. And we'll get you a good shot of them, then we'll move on. There you go, guys. That's a nice little yellow belly, flathead. Shovel nose. There's all different types of names you like to call it. I'm guessing this one may be, this one is probably about six pounds. Let's see that. I want y'all to see him. Nice little flathead for the season. So let's move on to the other. Okay, guys, as you can see, this was another little uh, drainage pipe. It is probably up underneath that mound. I set a bank pole right between these two trees and threw it down there. No luck. Goldfish was still on there. I actually double baited this, so I lost the goldfish and still have one left. So, so far, it looks like we are one for ten. We still got two more poles to check. And that's over at the ramp that I did last time. And that little blowout hole in the ranch, uh, at the ramp. So, wish me luck on that. But at least we got one fish today. So, like I said, always happy to get a fish. Don't mind checking empty poles when you got already got a fish to take home. So, keep on watching me, guys. See how fast that river is moving out there. 
it looks like it's start it's going to peak out today and tomorrow and then um probably monday it should start dropping so maybe next weekend we might go out and set some poles next friday when the water levels back to around 18 feet and we can get to some of our normal holes and get more out towards the river so you guys stay with me remember this is big muddy catfishing if you haven't watched if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed hit that subscribe button follow me on instagram i got a giveaway coming soon it's a pretty good giveaway i hope you guys like it and we're on the road to 1k subscribers so guys help me get there if you got three friends that like catfishing videos, share my videos with those three friends. Share my Instagram account with those three friends. And hopefully at least one out of the three will follow me. And if one out of three will follow me, we can really get there to the 1K. And when we get to 1K, guys, we're going to do an even bigger giveaway than we did this time. And we're going to start doing giveaways once I start this last one. We'll do a giveaway probably every 90 days. So that'll be four giveaways a year, guys. Uh, so keep up with me. Remember, Big Money Catfishing with Bank Po Joe. This is Bank Po Fever. Okay, guys, back at the last location. Walking over Katie Trail, headed down to the ramp. See if this blowout hole produced anything, which I hope it uh, did because... The hole really looks really good when you look at it on Google Maps. Looks like definitely a place that a nice fish will come and hold down. At least until the river starts going back down again. Ooh, we, we got... Okay, guys. We got two poles set. Now, I can tell you that I did not set that second pole as low as it is. I don't know why it's down that low, but that that second pole had the biggest goldfish that I had of the night, and I set it top water last night, and it looks like the water did come up quite a bit, so, but considering it, it is definitely, seems like it's lower than what I originally put it, so you keep watching, guys, and hopefully uh, we got a fish on. Well, this pole, no luck. We set two baits on it, one high and one low. Never even got touched. So first one's a bust, so so far, it's a no-no. But I'm going to have to stop the phone to reach out and get that one because it is in the water. So I'm going to have to mess around a little bit. But hopefully we can get this on vid. So hold on, and I'll be right back, guys. Thanks for watching me, and keep on watching. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're back home now. We ended up having 12 poles out. We checked all those poles. We only had one fish, but we did get us a flathead. You know, I'm always excited when we catch fish. I'm going to give you a up close and personal look at the fish. We're going to clean him and possibly the next video I'll put out maybe a catch and cook video. So be out on the lookout for that. Um, we did get a delivery today. Jason, my boy Jason, brought me a bait tank that... I'm really excited about so I don't have to deal with changing water and a bunch of extra stuff. So you guys are going to see a little bit of that on video. I'll have that on video probably on one of the next couple of videos that I do put out. So don't don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, I want to hear what you guys think. Tell me what you think about the fish that I catch. Kind of go back and look over some of those old videos I come out with a few years ago. Camera shots are a little bad but still did get some fish in case you guys are bored but like i said we will go and show you this fish that we got gonna pull him out of my bait tank he is alive and moving around so i'm gonna hang him on the hook and take a good uh video shot of him at the end of this video so you can see and also in this video i'm going to also show you the uh pictures of the area where i bank pulled most of the bank poles that I set or all 12 of my set was between two different ramps one was Hartsburg access and one was further up towards Wilton and all that along there is uh, wing dikes that are normally there but you can't see them because they're covered up by the flood water flood water is about 27.8 feet 28 feet right now um, so we're hoping that comes down guys so sorry for you guys are 
out there stuck in the floodwaters and can't do much. I know how it is. It sucks. Live out here on the Missouri River. It's been up and down all season. So it's been hard to make videos, guys. So you guys, you just tell me what you want to see, and I'll try to get these videos out, get these pumping again. I want to thank you guys. You got me got past that 500 mark. I'm ready to get to that 1K, guys. We're not stopping here. We're going to keep on marching and get as big as we can get. We're going to take bank pole fever as far as we can go. So thank you guys for watching. Keep watching the end of this video. We're going to show you the fish, and we're going to show you um, the possibly the weight of that fish and also like i said the pictures of the area where i did set those bank poles that's kind of a new area i haven't um really messed around over there but it seems to be a decent area so i like to add that onto my list as hot spots so keep on watching all right guys we're back so you can get a good look at this fish You can see. Uh, he's almost nine pounds, so about eight and a half. So he's about a half a little bit less than half a pound smaller than that blue cat that I caught on the last video. But he's got a nice yellow body to him. And I caught him right on the Missouri River. There you go, guys. Here we go, guys. Here's the bait tanks that I was that I'm holding them in right at the moment. That we're going to transfer everything over to this bad boy. As you can see, nice little bucket filter on a big IBC tote. I'm able to get this up to probably 200 gallons. I'm only going to run it at about 150. You probably can't see those numbers. But pump is going to pump everything through the bucket. Dump it back down through there. Aerator hose through there. So y'all see a video where I'm putting this together and I'm making a transfer. And we're going to let the flathead sit in here for a minute until we decide to clean it. So you guys, thanks for watching my videos. This is Big Muddy Cat Fishing with your host, Bank Poe Joe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Oh, and by the way, if you're at this point in the video, then I'm giving a shout out to my boy at Set the Hook Cat Fishing. He's trying to work his way to 1K. And Byron Lucero, that's the Muddy River Cat Fishing. Chris Flores is buddy his fishing partner let's help him get the 1k so my subscribers please if you don't already subscribe to his page go to his page he's on a, on that cat fishing with muddy river cat fishing fishing the elephant elephant butt, butt reservoir or lake that they're on doing their guide service so check them out thanks for watching big muddy cat fishing peace